Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Funky Steve's Medinas. So we have Jump Planets again. We're, our, we're at Galitzin, and we'll have a look here, a quick on look on the map, and then I got some cool stuff to show you here. Um, so we jumped from, was it here? Somewhere over here. I can't even remember now. We were over here somewhere. It's a single jump. It was a nine day jump. Anyway, I can't remember. We made the jump, and we're over here now. Um, we're in, uh, um, still in uh, Davian space, and we're going to take a uh, Lyran Commonwealth um, mission today. But the first thing I want to do, we've got our most of our mechs back. Let's go to the mech base and have a look real quick. So, oh, I gotta have a look at this guy here for a second. Didn't realize we had something missing. Oh, a hand. Let's get that fixed real quick before I forget. Don't really need it for this mission, but let's put one in there just in case we need to melee with somebody. Confirm this for one day. Okay, so um, I pulled a mission off in order to grab some sea bills, and it ended up being a lot tougher than I was expecting it to be. It was like a one skull mission, but I ended up fa facing two lances, a medium mechs. Anyways, I had the bushwhacker in there. We lost an armor in the bush bushwhacker, just the medium laser that we lost on this one. The agar mech, we lost one of the LB-10Xs <laughs> on this guy. Um, but I think the trade-off that we got out of this was better. So remember we were talking about the hunchback. We took a significant damage in the last battle. and We were thinking about building a melee mech. Well, here it is. I figured if we're going to do it, might as well make the hunchback a brawler. Um, Efficiency-wise and cost-wise, it worked out really well. Uh, I didn't have to change too much because most of the inner, like the weapons were destroyed and we, we repaired the arms and everything already. It was just putting new stuff in. So it didn't cost me a whole much. It was 11 days and 130,000 or something. So I think this is going to work out great. So our heat efficiency is really wonderful. Uh, Alpha Strikes 51 heat. Uh, I picked up a snub nose PPC off that last mission, the mission that we lost the LB-10X on. Uh, but it's a pirate one, so it fires upon melee attack, which is awesome. And then we got the t -Semp cannon here, um, which impairs targets' movements, um, impairs their accuracy, impairs their heat sinking, does a lot of impairment to them, adds some heat. This is aw this is an awesome weapon for a melee mech. We took our mask system, we dropped it in here. I left the TTS energy. Um, I don't know if that is going to affect this at all. Now I know this is a support weapon, however, um, it is also a laser, so uh, and it will fire it to 550 meters. So I, I don't know. If anyone knows, please drop it in the comment section down below, and we can we'll pull this out. But right now I just left it in just to increase, hopefully increase the, the chance to hit with this a little bit more. So we do have claws in the one side here, which is great. Um, bonus of 10 melee damage and 70% um, melee. Uh, damage, melee accuracy, all that kind of stuff. And then on the other side, we got a lower melee actuator, which adds a little bit more melee damage too. Um, targeting computer I left in there just so we can hit a little better. Dropped a Guardian ECM in. Um, I was hoping to put the Warfare Suite in, but it just wasn't happening because of the weight. Uh, if we pull out the TTS energy, then the Warfare Suite will go back in. And we put the NSS in. Pulled some Pharaoh off, put the NSS in. Um, and I had to add, add our patchwork materials here as well. So I'm interested to see how this guy runs today. I'm kind of really excited about this. It's almost at full armor too, which is another great thing, right? Just a little bit off the legs, a little bit off the back, but everything else is full. So um, yeah, let's jump in and take a mission. Now we need sea bills. That's the one thing we do need. Uh, we still got a uh, financial report to go through. We have enough for that one, but if we're gonna, like the bushwhacker and the Agamac need their arms fixed, the Mjolnir is gonna be back in one day. Let's do it, yep, this way. So let's just get that back and then we'll take this mission here. Okay, so, command center, contracts. Come out. Oh wait, we should probably check our pilots. I haven't done that. I went through that at the, in between episodes, but I completely forgot about that. So let's start off at Hellcat. Um, we want more piloting on this. Plus 10% maximum sprint, maybe. Um, I don't know. This is lower minimum range. Um, more guts maybe, overheat threshold. And then we're close to getting one of these two next. Maybe we'll do that. Injury resist goes up. 
Mm, 10% max sprint speed. Well, let's go with this route first. Mech warrior training complete. And Medita. Jazz got a big... We're going to leave the second Lance. Good they actually performed fairly well, so that was kind of good. Um, Commander. Rhino, we don't have anything yet. Uh, Rocky, um, you're going to be running our melee guy probably this this round. Um, don't think we really need overheat threshold, but I'm going to throw it on for guts just so we can heal quicker and stuff. Training. Injury resistance, let's do that. Um, Saint, we're going to leave for now. Steve's got nothing, and then these two will leave. So let's do this. So let's go to settling a grudge. And it looks like it's a good payout. We could go and take uh, max C bills, but I think what we want to do is probably go somewhere in order around here, make some C bills, enough for repairs and stuff, um, and maybe make some fixes on our mech. So we're going to take this one. It is a three skull too, so we have to be wary of that. So let's pull these guys out. And we need to bring in Steve. And let's bring Hellcat second, um, Rhino, and Rocky. So we want to bring in our Mjolnir. Let's move the catapult. No, it's fine on Hellcat. So let's go this route. Yeah, I think this is probably the best way to go. So let's deploy this sucker and get it done. All right, guys, here we go. Jungle terrain. I hope we're not six million dollar manning this. Steve Austin, man barely alive. We can rebuild him. We can make the world's first bionic man. Okay, so yeah, I guess there's a turn before they show up. So let's. I want to fade over to the left here. So this is through the water. Like, check that out. I can't wait to see how far this hunchback can go. Alright, that's some pretty good stealth. Okay, they're moving forward. Um, I'm gonna focus ourselves over here, I think. If they've got guys that come out here, I know there's some guys that spawn back here, some guys that spawn over here. Maybe we can crossfire, kill these guys first, and then when these guys come around, we'll finish them up. That's kind of how I'm thinking, but like I said, we don't know until we start. Yeah, I can't wait till that uh, hunchback gets in there and clobbers somebody. I don't know what their base damage is going to be. Yeah, so there's two over here, one back here. What do we got? Griffin, a wasp, cicada. There's got to be reinforcements in a griffin. There has to be. Not. A, um, Yeah, most likely. I have a... You know what? Don't normally do that. We're going to reserve. We're going to get a hesitation minus. Oh! That is an impressive jump, I have to say. And that is a scary-ass griffin. That last mission that I played that was off camera, I should have put it on camera. They had an assassin, a uh, porcupine. Yeah, there's the reinforcements. Um, a whole bunch of mechs that I've never seen before. Well, there's an Ar it was an Arbiter, Uriel, or Uziel, something like that. Um, that's where I got this uh, PPC off of. You. No idea what's on this griffin, eh? I got a lot of back armor, but um, I 
think we gotta... We're gonna have like one turn here. Can I kill this guy? Eh, I don't know. This guy's gonna have 59 damage each, but he hasn't moved yet. What about this guy back here? Eh, 70. It's full damage on that guy. This guy... Well, there's a possibility to make him unstable. You know what? As crazy as this sounds, I'm going to take the better chances to hit, and I'm going to blast the cicada here. Enemy nice try, buddy. Okay, if I was that guy, I'd be jumping behind the missile mech. Confirm. You shouldn't be able to get a back shot on us here. It's finished. It. Well, that's really bad chances to hit. Wow, how'd that happen? Sprint, I guess. Distance, I don't know. He hasn't moved. Oh well, let's just take him. I'm not gonna warlord just yet. Reporting critical hit. I know that guy's not the real threat, but still. Mm-hmm. Waiting for orders. Seventy three, okay, not bad. Did we get the T Simp? We did. Nice. Commander. I don't know if he's unstable or not. I'm gonna target this guy. I don't think he is. We would have better chances to hit if he was, but he'll be after this, that's for sure. Okay. Well, Rocky still got a 21 for initiative. That's a similar griffin, it looks like. Okay, let's see what the back is like on this guy. Yeah, we hit him in the arm. Um, so let's come around this side. Hit him on the other side. Maybe we can knock his ass down. Be nice to have a griffin. Okay, there we go. Pew. Damage minimal. Yes, Commander. Okay, let's finish this guy up if we can. Target the head, because why not? Firing. Okay, I got a head hit on him. Nice. Ah, uh, we hit the CT though. Damn. Somebody over here on the left. Like here, I guess. Ready for orders. Uh, we got some time. Just gonna back up here. Confirmed. And I'm gonna do this, try for a headshot, see if we get one. Yep. Scored critical hit. Here comes that Chiquita. I don't think he can stop himself from being unstable. 
Oh, yeah, I know he did. It's okay, we'll, we'll work on that in this turn here. Give them somebody to shoot for, get our stability back. Let's dump it right on this guy and hopefully finish him up. Yep. Bye bye. Okay, this guy's not moving very far. I wonder if the, the jump jets are affected by T-Semp. That would be interesting to see. Okay, so what is this guy like now? Could try and leg him. You know what? Yes, Commander. It's a little further. Let's move there. Try and knock his ass on the ground. Okay, there it is. So he'll be out cold now. There we go. Nice. Good salvage. So I think I want to remove this wasp next. We haven't come under any threat yet, so I'm not really worried too much about what we got coming in. Actually, I think I'll leave the wasp to the hunchback, so next turn. Let's target some of these griffins coming in here. That guy's hiding. So, Wolfhound is the next target. Straight up firing. I know it's low chance, but we're going to take it anyway. We're not under pressure. Um, so, you know, using the... Uh, using the Warlord right now is really not necessarily necessary. Necessarily necessary. Eh, a couple hits. Like, if that was a bigger LRM spread, then maybe, but kill these guys faster, but it doesn't really matter. Start closing the gap. Fire on this guy. Ah, we got one hit. I wasn't expecting to hit there. Alright, let's show them why you're here. Mm, yeah, no, I don't think so. Let's go this side. Can we get up? We can't get up here, eh? All right. On my way. Targeting I feel sorry for you, buddy. Wow. Okay, finally got a melee mech. Nice. Now we need to get eyes on some more people here. Why do we have eyes on a griffin over here? Yeah. <laughs> He's backing up. He's like, yeah, not hanging out there. Okay, he's probably overheating. I'm receiving you. They really shouldn't zoom in, but, you know, can't do much about it. Um, no idea. So let's move here. Um... We got lots of ammo. Let's get it started. Yeah, so I'm starting to, I think I'm starting to get the hang of this version of Rogue Tech. Um, you'll see in the episode, this next episode of Night Witches that's going to be running congruently with this one. Um, managed to stabilize us a little bit. Um, if you haven't, uh, ooh, head hit. If you haven't tuned in to Night Witches, please feel free to do so. Uh, it's basically starting with this version from scratch, so... Damn it. Orders. Location Don't like spies. And this guy's a spy. 
Let's try and remove them faster. I copy. Oh, we missed with the thunderbolt. Are you kidding me? Too many times we're missing with that thing. I mean, the other option is to throw an LRM-20 in, but... I don't know. I don't think the LRM-20 is worth it, honestly. Unless we can find one that has bonus damage, then it would totally be worth it. Okay, let's Warlord it up. Give us maximum chance to hit this guy. Oh, three hits, nice. He's packing up again. <laughs> I don't blame you, buddy. I don't blame you. Let's move back here. Hmm. You want a side? Let's do this. And we got tons of morale, so let's just use that. Uh, we're going to warlord it with this guy as well, and we're going to apply the damage straight to him, and fire. Another miss with the warlord, with the, uh, oh, he's going down. Another miss with the uh, thunderbolt. Ready for orders. Wow, TSAM can fire that far, huh? That's insane. Oh, we hit too. Nice. It's a hunchback. Yeah, he's thinking twice now. He's like, I can't stay up here. This is crazy. Okay, another griffin. Ah, nice shooting. That's like seven chevrons of evasion in the water and he hit me. Um, Steve. Oh, God. What do we do here? Can we actually hit it? Well, we can hit those guys up there. Thinking probably. Let's just see what it is to hit. 57.38. Twenty something. Maybe we just finish this guy up. Let's go for a headshot, because why not? Yeah, I don't blame you guys for being angry. Don't blame you for being angry at all. Twenty nine. Sixty four percent. Well, let's take that. You know what it is? We need low chances to hit with these weapons. Then we can hit. They're like, you need to get in there. They can shoot us. She's in melee range. You are in melee range. Um, yeah, I think there's somebody back here, and I don't trust it, so we're going to come in from this way. Let's go for it. Acknowledged. Here it comes. Negative damage. Hmm. Repeat negative damage. It's all right, man. It is okay. Let's come around here. So there's the other guy back there. Catapult. Twenty some odd. Hunchback. Let's fire on him again. Comes the missiles. Oh, nice. See, we just need lower chance to hit. That's what it is.
So far I'm liking the Hunchback's loadout, on our side that is. Um, let's target this guy. I know we had a better chance to hit the Wolfhound, but not really worried about that one. We got our Hunchback on him right now. Pew pew. He's too far away to do any effective damage on us. Oh, we can spot him now. Well, if we can see him, we can punch him. Don't think he's in range, punchable range quite yet. Still got the catapult to go. Order. Um. We've been hitting the CT already. Let's go from this side. Okay, 58. Man, two more misses. Ooh. Got lucky there. Yeah, it's gonna be this guy. Let's fire on him. Ah, I couldn't get lucky with the Thunderbolt. You know what it is? It's because I said, if I hadn't have said that, oh yeah, no, we're gonna get uh, more hits to lower the percentage. If I hadn't said that, we probably would have hit. Okay, there we go, 75%. Nicely hit. Okay, can we get a good shot? We can, there we go. Looking for a good shot on this guy. Dumping everything into him. Goodbye. Loving this 4 PPC loadout, especially when we have water to stand in. It's just, it's just completely devastating. 70 door, 74 damage a pop is just, just crushing for these guys. Yes, Commander. Um, let's start on this guy. We'll loot, we're gonna kill the Wolfhound. He's close enough to us, so... Okay, so his movement's severely restricted. Wow. It's twice he's missed everything in a row. I'm here. Um here we go. Yeah, this guy right here. Let's finish him up if we can. Oh he shut down. Uh I think he's got an XL, doesn't he? There's no way to know for sure. I'm pretty sure he does in a wolfhound. It doesn't look like it's the standard Wolfhound loadout. Although, no, I don't think he does. He doesn't have an XL. Headshot? Let's just CT him. Oh, it's a pirate version. Ooh, pirate medium lasers would be nice.
Well, that wolf hen's dead meat. CT, fire everything. Thanks for coming out, buddy. Don't think he had an XL. I just remember the earlier version. I got See, they path you right through here. There should be a little list that you can check where you want your mech to go. Got it. I'm attention deficit, so why? I don't care. Just run through it. It's not like these guys are going to knock me over anyway. Nice. Oh, we destroyed his endo steel. Really? Never do this, guys, but I'm going to turn my back to that catapult. Actually, why? There's no need to. This guy's almost gone. We might get a lucky shot in the center torso here. Locked on for physical attack. Crap. I'm receiving you. Um. Location confirmed. Catapult battle. Firing. All right. That would be a long battle. They run out of ammo and have to melee each other. Yeah, man, that taser is crazy. The T-Semp. For heat on a mech, I'm going to stand in the... <laughs> There you go, Ace Tracker, <laughs> right in the rough terrain again. All right, firing on this guy. Let's Warlord it. See if we can take him out. Bye bye. Enemy mech destroyed. He's running. He's fleeing the interview. Okay, so the Victor, I think, has got to be the next mech that we work on. Let's just fire on this. Oh, nice hit. I think that hit him right in the groin, too. Uh, Hellcat? Uh, that's a reserve. Alright, Rocky. Ready for orders. Look at this craziness. Look at it. Look at it. What's up, buddy? Okay, we're jammed by ECM. Just gonna do that in case he decides to fire everything else. So we got Vigilance plus four initiative next round. Okay. Good to know. I was wondering how they were gonna work Vigilance in. I can't even see him. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, there we go. All right. All oh, extended long-range missiles. That's what he's got. All the new stuff in Rogue Tech, man. It's so awesome. It's a mistake, buddy. But it's really all he can do. I don't think there's really much else he can do. All right, firing on this guy. Fire. Waiting for orders. All right, let's move. Let's lob some missiles on him. Firing. Fire in. Oh, nice. Two ELRM crits. Critical hit, Commander. I think that was an arm hit with that. Now, I don't know if he's got XL, but I don't think I'm going to be able to hit him from this side. Maybe I can. Oh, yeah, I can. Here we go. Right arm, right torso. That's it. 
Is it? Yep, it is. Nicely done. Mission successful. All right, contract and payment increased by 20%. I don't think we could have picked a more ideal mission. That was a three skull. We did take a bit of damage, but not much overall. Um, my analysis of the, of the situation, wanted this catapult, we need to redo it. I'm thinking the Thunderbolt 20 probably needs to come off. Um, I'm thinking that Ace Tracker is probably right with regards to the volume of missiles being fired at long range. Uh, it'd be nice to find some with damage or stability um, things, but for now we're going to leave it. The Thunderbolt 20 and the Victor is going to remain. Um, it's definitely better than using the AC until we can find a nice, um, a, a nice uh, projectile weapon that we can put in the arm. Or sorry, ballistic weapon we can put on the arm. Um, but this guy is woefully underpowered still. We need to figure out something, what, what we're going to do with him. Um, the Hunchback PPC, I don't even know what to say, but this thing, and uh, it just kills. It's, it, I'm, like, I'm loving this loadout. Just wish it was heavier so it had more armor, but other than that, I think it's great. Okay, lots of parts here. Um, don't think... Ah, man, pirate, pirate mediums. It would increase the damage, but we don't really have the weight to add to the um, Hunchback at the moment, so this really is not a good good pick. Pirate heavy laser. Medium heavy laser. 50 damage, 35 heat. Recoil of 2. 20% chance, chance to explode. Yeah, let's not, let's not take that. SRM's triple pluses. Interesting. Plus two SRM damage. Sheath beacon. Two initiatives. So this is a advanced warfare system cockpit. ECM bubble and everything included in this thing. That's probably a really good thing to take. I'm guessing. C3 slaves. Ah, as much as I love to start taking this, we don't. Have, we need a C3 master. Engine core, light engine. We don't really have a million C bills to add this in. So, uh, engine core, XL, gyro, double heatsink kit, proto double heatsinks, IFF jammer. Not really. Well. Adds one of sensor checks, but not much else. Another NSS. Another, oh god, a pirate. A pirate cockpit, too. I know the weapon heat generator is increased, but that plus three accuracy is just so tempting. Um... I think we'll come across another one of these probably quicker than we will these ones here. So I think we'll probably leave that like that. Let's go this route. Okay, one, two catapult parts, one, two, three, three griffin parts and a wasp part. Case two and IFF jammer. Ah, well, it could have been worse. All right, let's see what we got here. 49,000, not too shabby. Okay, so let's manage our tasks a bit. What do we got here? Hunchback PPC, Catapult Mjolnir. Um, yeah, man, I think that's probably the way to go. And the Whacker in. Yep. Okay, cool. So how many more days? 13 more days. So let's let's do another quick mission here. Four, five. Um, I'm going to run this planet. Take some sensor readings, make a little easy money. Hmm. We got the C bills. Let's see if we can make some money off this. Nope. Not today. That's what you get for gambling, man. Ah. Well, we had to take it. All right. There we go. Let's have a look at the contract, see what else we can do here. Um. 
do need sea bills heavy lure it's two I know it's only two skull repost the last time we did this there was two lances now if this was down at two skull I'd say sure but it's not payroll seizure Yeah, man, let's take the payroll. Let's hit it. Um, we're doing okay for sea bills. Let's go full salvage on this. Don't know if we're going to have one or two lances. Main group, let's deploy this and get it done. Alright, here we go. Same map, opposite direction. See so what kind of firepower they got. Okay. So, last time we played this map... It was quite a while back. We got additional fire from this side. So I'm thinking we do the same thing we did last time. Kind of come up around here. Use this as a, as a defense in case they have reinforcements. The map ends right here. So we can head towards the base. And our escape route is over here. So let's do this. Alright, Rock. See if he can spy us anything in a minute. So I guess this is just a positioning move. Uh, we're going to do it this way. It's nice this catapult has some speed. But if we can, maybe we'll slow it. Wait, can I get down off there? I've been a few times where I've kind of gone up on a hill and never been able to get down. Let's just stand on the... Uh, let's just stand on the rough ground. Waiting for orders. Want to hear the sound of cringes? Roger. Rough ground. <laughs> All right, here we go. Raven, Grand Dragon. Okay. I think we should start looking at mech parts here. So let's sprint into here. Give us some physical cover. Okay. And then let's sensor lock somebody here. Who do we want to target first? Raven? Hector. Oh, right. That's that. Yeah, this guy's like really slow and really old, I think. Shadowhawk. Grand Dragon. Probably the Grand Dragon. Mm, I think Shadowhawk will probably be closer to us. This guy has no armor. I've got a sensor lock. Thank you. It's like a standard Shadowhawk loadout. Commander? Oh, we got direct line of sight to somebody. Shadowhawk, maybe? Is it? It is. Cool. Uh, let's just fire normally. Steve. Oh, yeah, man. Let's punish him. A chance to hit here. That's pretty damn good. Let's confirm this. And firing. Yep. Early kills. Love it. Teamwork, guys. Teamwork. I mean, hell, you know, Rhino? If we can get some, like, like a Rack 2, or I think we have a Rack 2, actually. Maybe we put it on this guy, get rid of the uh, Thunderbolt, maybe drop an LRM-15 in with extra damage or something, and just use just use all our, the three heavy mechs we have right now, just as long-range guys, and use the Hunchback as the sneaky, uh, sneaky spy. Sneaky sensor locking spy. That could have been worse. So the Raven has got I think has got by. one of those the LRMs that have the um, the narc Roger. on it, I think. Hector, 26, 
Don't think he's really the threat. 18. 18. Well, got a better chance to hit, so let's take it. Uh, you don't even need to move, I don't think. Let's just sensor lock the Hector. Got a lock. Um, yeah, let's just stay there. Ooh, nice shot. He didn't move, though. Should have moved. Hector, he didn't move either. Um, let's warlord this. And fire. Nice. Think I hit something good. So the Hectors really aren't um, they're really like, they've got like primitive engine, primitive everything on them. So even though there's 70, yeah, there he goes. Even though there's 70 tons, it's they're not really a threat. At least I haven't found them to be. Wow, we didn't even move and you only hit us with two. It's gotta be the ECM, man. So we need to figure out which of our mechs at the back here is going to carry the warfare suite. Keep all of our guys in an ECM bubble because it'll affect all of them. Um, and then just put minor ECMs on the others. Ready for orders. Gonna fire on this guy if we can. Come on. There we go. Fire both. Yeah. That's a miss. Waiting for orders. Let's get some direct fire going. It's gonna confirm the warlord. Not a better chance to hit. Nice. Yes, Think that had to have been a CT hit. On my way. Open for a head hit on B. Fire. I have no idea. I guess there's no way to really know. Let's get in the trees. That guy's got a PPC. Let's not uh, risk it. And dump everything into this guy. Let's finish him up. Steve, man, three kills. Enemy Haven't even had a chance to melee these guys yet. We will now, though. Let's have a look at that Grand Dragon. Now, that's just the same as the regular Dragon, right? Or do they change the model on it? No, it looks pretty cool, man. Nice big fat front here. Once again, thank you to the Rogue Tech team for putting models in this game. They are awesome. I'm here. Okay. Firing. Confirmed. Wow, 75% chance to hit and you still missed. Waiting for orders. Um I think the ballistics on this side, that's the PPC. So let's try to remove the PPC. Roger. Not sure how much that I don't know if it's a full goss. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Nicely done. Two or three. What do you think, Steve? Shoot his head off? Don't know if he can fire everything. Can you go for the headshot? Fire it all. Well, we got the engine. I think that'll be it. 
We're not in? I guess we're not in the square. We'll just stand on this guy's corpse. I'm receiving you. Order. Because I don't think the pilots survived that. There it is, folks. That was fast. Okay, so only 86,000. Steve got all the kills, but he was firing last, and he's got four PPCs, so... Yeah, no real significant damage. Good experience, though. Um, lots of mech parts. Okay, Gauss Rifle. Double the crit plus five heat. Interesting. LRM-15 with bonus accuracy. What else do we got? Ooh, primitive armor. Yeah, we need that. Um, that's a big-ass core. Heavy gyro. 70 stability threshold provided by gyro. Normally I put this on the melee max, but I'm thinking the plus one... Uh, Evasion and defense is probably better. Double heat sink kit. Do we have any of these? We got one still. Light Pharaoh. Um, patchwork materials. Heavy Gauss ammo. Eh? Twenty-five percent Gauss rifle damage. Minus fifty percent range. Carries only four rounds though. Meh. Not likely we'll use it in any way. Um, that's a tough one. I don't think there's anything at the bottom we need. Do we? I don't think we need uh, endo steel. Do we? We have zero. Let's grab the endo steel, and then let's grab grand dragon part, shadowhawk part. Hmm. Either that or the big ass core. Oh, uh, God, what do we do here? Let's grab the core. Yeah, let's grab two Grand Dragon parts. Let's do this. Okay, one, two, three Grand Dragon. One, two, three, four Hector parts. Five Hector parts, cool. Ah, uh, crappy large laser. And yeah, nothing else. All right, Steiner Trek... Galitzin from Davian. Wait, is that the planet we're on? I can't remember. I don't think that's the planet we're on. 16 grand, so that's nothing. There we go. Yeah, it is. We just we just flipped the planet to Steiner. Oh my god. Really? They only had 19% control, now they gotta have a lot more control. 54, man, we really did a job on these guys. That's two, oh, that's right, because we did we did do two missions, didn't we? Yeah, we should take another one then, but we're not going to do it today. <laughs> we're not going to leave the planet. Uh, there's no reason to. We're uh, milking this place before we leave, I think. Um, there's still a couple missions here I think we can do. Um, supply lines, I think, is one. Battle of the Juggle. Um, definitely not doing that. Uh, maybe Heavy Lure as well. Yeah, we'll probably take these two next time when we come back. Um, make a little bit more sea bills, make some more salvage. Uh, we did okay today. I, I, th I didn't think we were going to do as well as we did, but we did pretty well. Uh, the mechs ended up being really um, a lot better than I thought they would be. Let's move this guy up to three days, so it'll be four days here in total with them coming back. Um... So that'll put us before the end of the month, although our Rhino comes back in six days, unfortunately. Although we do have other pilots, right? So we'll take another mission before the end of the month, like in five days? One, two, three, four, five. There we go. One more day before the end of the month. Cool. So we'll be able to take another, another uh, mission before the end of the month. Maybe we just take that last Steiner mission, then we jump planets. But yeah, we're going to leave the episode there. If you like it, please feel free to drop a like. If you have any comments, feel free to drop it in the comment section, section down below. I'm interested in what you guys interested about what you guys think about um, switching from Thunderbolts to LRMs. Mm, I'm iffy, iffy, iffy on it. I don't know. Those big 100-point damage hits, 
um, especially when we land them, are particularly devastating. Um, and at, at uh, visual range, they land quite frequently. Um, so I'm hesitant to give them up on two mechs. Maybe on the on the catapult, we load it down with stability damaging LRMs or something. Um, I'd like to try and find an LRM-5 NARC as well. Maybe we put two of them on there, so a couple of LRM-15s with stability damage and then the NARC as well, like a pair of those, so we can multi-target on the catapult. Uh, I'm not sure yet, but the Rhino, I think Rhino needs another ballistic weapon. Uh, something better, I think, than those machine guns. It's not bad. Every once in a while we do get a head hit, but it's really not performing what it, the way it should. So... Anyway, we'll leave the episode there. Until next time, we'll see you guys later.